channel if you're new here which you probably are because this is my first video my name is Amy and today's video is just a get ready with me Q&A just so you get to know me a bit um, but yeah I'll just jump right into the video if you have any questions or anything you just want to see leave them below in the comments okay so we'll just jump in with the first question Oopsies. so what is the dumbest way you have been injured um honestly I'm really clumsy I I don't think I've ever went a day without, ah, literally just hit my head on that. Ever went a day without hurting myself in some shape or form. But the dumbest was probably when I was younger. I used to have bug beds and I don't know why my mum and daddy got me bug beds because it was just me to sup on them. It was for like friends, they were and stuff. But anyway, when I was younger, I got bug beds and I used to do tumbles on the top bunk. Yeah, I know, smart. And I used to tumble. Obviously, there's like a part where there's a ladder. And then the ladder. I said that really weird. There's the part where there's the ladder. And then ladder. Ladder, I don't know. And there's like a wee space. And then obviously, there's bars. So you make sure you don't fall out of the top bunk. And I was doing tumbles that way. So that I wouldn't fall out. And then I was like, oh, might as well try it the other way. Did it. Fell off the top bunk top, uh, top bunk I can't speak and I landed on my arm I think I either broke my elbow or collarbone or something and I had to get surgery um yeah so that was probably the dumbest way I've ever been injured because you know as a child I still fall like a lot of time but somehow I don't actually hurt myself I have also split my mouth open that's about it well, you can say these are all when I was a child, by the way. Um, and then I have a scar here. I can't really see it. Yeah, I have a scar there because my cousin was in the toilet and I needed to go, so I was waiting outside the toilet for her. And she opened the door and hit me in the face, and it busted my face open. So you know, bad and fresh. And and then in my adult life, I always fall like in work, I fell down the stairs. It was more embarrassing than sore. Because there was someone behind me. I was also wearing a skirt. It was not a good experience. Um, next question is, what is your best feature? Um, I don't know if it's my best, but it's my favourite. It's probably my legs. I don't know, I just think, I really like them. I think my legs are really cute. And like, strong. I don't know if I would use the word strong. But obviously because I'm a hefty bitch, they have to carry me. So they are sort of strong. Um so they look really nice, I don't know, it's my favourite part. Um let's see. How many pairs of shoes do you have? Oh gee oh, God. Um well we have a walk-in wardrobe, it's not massive, it's like a wee small corner walk in wardrobe. And it's like along this way and then a wee small bit this way. My shoes take up this entire space and then the other wardrobe in the spare bedroom. Um actually let me let me go check how many shoes I have because I'm not sure. Okay, so I checked and I have, I probably should check where I started filming but I did not. Um, I have about 19 pairs of shoes but that's like including heels, boots, a lot of stuff. And I probably only wear like four pairs of shoes consistently um, out of all those shoes. I wear my... Um, my Dr. Martens, they're probably my favourite ones. Um, they're like these big platform chunky Dr. Martens. I'll show you here. Um, I love them. I don't know, they just make me feel like a boss ass bitch or something. I don't know, I just really love them. And then probably the next part would be my plain white neck Air Force. Insert in here. I'm not going to show you my ones because they're dirty. I'm just going to show you the shoes I'm talking about off Google. And then I got another pair of Air Force. They're white and pink. They're really cute. And then my platform converse. Um, they're just black. So those are probably the four shoes that I would wear the most. Um, I don't know. Just they go with most things. Um, what is the next question? Sorry. It's locked. Where would you love oh sorry I need some weapon 
what would you love to go on holiday there's a few places um hawaii is probably the top one i would love to go to hawaii um and then i want to go to paris we were actually supposed to go to paris this year but it got cancelled because of rona and uh, then where else new york um i put way too much cream on this Shoot. Ooh, new york like la or something somewhere in america i don't know but hawaii is definitely the top one i would love to go there i think my interest in hawaii stemmed off like the tv show hawaii 50 <laughs> i love that show but yeah that's why i want to go there let's see how many tattoos do you have i have four tattoos um i'll put in pictures here so the first one i got was when i was 16 yes and it is a lily for my granny who is called lily um i mean it's sentimental and all that stuff but the actual tattoo itself is not what i asked for i wanted like a really thin cute piece but he did not do that he drew it on with a sharpie and like if you've ever had a tattoo they are supposed to like draw it on and stick it on your hand he drew it on with a sharpie onto a piece of kitchen roll that should have been my first warning he asked me was i 18 i said yes he said okay so sort of my fault for thinking that that was acceptable so i'm editing the video right now and i realized that i forgot completely forgot one of my tattoos it's ignore this i've just woke up um it's the one uh, me and my friend got my best friend we got much tattoos i let her pick it because it was her first tattoo um but yeah here it is oh. I think my first few tattoos were like sentimental ones because i wanted to like get those and then just start getting random tattoos that i liked um my next one was for my granda um it's a wee paint pot with like paintbrush in it because we always used to like draw and paint and the one i got after that is like a butterfly with the suicide awareness as like the stem you'll see it in the clip um for my friend who died last year yeah around about the same last year um and then the last one i have it's like a a woman with like a sun and flowers i just like those that was pretty but that's the tattoos um let's see where are you from? Um, I am from Belfast. Um, I've lived here my whole life. So, um, what is your height? I am a five three. Yes, I'm a very small girl. Not fun being small. I'm that small that I had to buy a stool to stand in my wardrobe so that I can see my handbags. So much of a tiny person I am. It's not fun. I hate being small. Um, let's see, favourite alcoholic drink? If I'm out, like, in a restaurant with food and stuff, it's going to be a strawberry daiquiri. I know it's very basic of me, but I just think they're really nice. I love cocktails. Um, but if I'm going to, like, a party or I want to actually get severely drunk, it's going to be vodka. It does not taste nice, but it does get you drunk, so probably that, but I really don't drink that much at all. Uh see what are your thoughts on breast reduction and um, well for you that are new here obviously because this is my first video and um, you do not know that I have the last time I got measured I was double H and that was like two years ago so god knows what size I am now because I put on a lot of weight since then and they get bigger what I put weight on um I've been considering a breast reduction since I was 16. Obviously you have to be 18 to get one. But that's how long I've been talking about it with my doctor. I would definitely get one because I can't cope with how big they are. Like not even just how big they are. They are so sore. Like my back is so painful all the time. At one point I had to go to physio for my back pain because it's just too much. And they're just too big. Like they're not nice but i don't like them i don't think they're a nice big they're just ugh, i don't know i don't like them i would love them to be smaller um i probably go down to like a d they would i want them to be big obviously but i don't want them to be massive like they are i just don't think it's nice 
So yeah, I would definitely get one. The reason I can't get one now is because I have high blood pressure. Hmm, yay. So I have to wait and I also have to lose weight because they want to see if they go down with the weight loss. Which I don't think they will because I've always had big boobs even when I was skinny. I had big boobs. They weren't massive like they were now but they were definitely big. So um, I know Rona has sort of got in the way of me trying to get skinny because I put the rest of my eyelash off camera. And it's like my eyelashes on. Um, so someone asked me for advice for shy girls and honestly I don't have any because I am also very shy. I think it's the best thing to do is just try to put yourself out of your comfort zone which is something I've been trying to do for the past couple of months like doing YouTube videos like I want to do them because I started off filming TikToks and I just thought it was really fun something to do like a like a hobby something that I enjoy doing and I don't know it was stressful but fun Um, I just like doing that Um, and obviously my severe anxiety does not help Um, but the one thing I'm worried about most is obviously people like well, making fun of you for like making videos and stuff like that so that was obviously one of my fears of doing it but I just got to the point where I just don't care anymore. It's just too much stress worrying about what other people think about you. Um, do you have a pet? Yes, I do. I will go up him. So this is our cat, Blue. Blue, look. Look, baby. Ah, he doesn't like being held. Oh, this is Blue. He's beautiful. Yeah, this is our wee cat. We got him. In October, I'll let you down now because I really don't like being lifted. Oh. We got him in October. Um, yeah, and it's our first, but well, it's my first actual pet, and it's me and Dan's first pet together. So, what is your favorite YouTuber at the minute? Right now, my favorite YouTuber is going to be Billy Surian. I don't really know how to say her name. Sorry. Um, I love her videos because I love. I don't really wear makeup, but I like watching. Like people do it, I think it's really satisfying or something. And I love, I'm obsessed with like true crime, murder stuff, and I just love her murder mystery Monday. So it's like my favorite thing ever. I got Dan into watching some. Why is there not focusing? Focus. There we go. Yeah, well, I got Dan to watch some of them as well. Like they're really interesting. Like there was a documentary on Netflix called Night Soccer about Richard Ramirez and he is a serial killer and I didn't like the Netflix like documentary about it. I preferred Billy's video. I think it was just so much more interesting because she was in like their childhood and I don't know. But yeah, it's really cool. I love her song. So this is the final look. Do not judge because I am not great at makeup. I also don't wear it very often. I got ready literally just to go on my daily outing walk for lockdown and go to Tesco's to get some shopping. But yeah, this is it. Guys, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below if you have anything you just want to see, any suggestions. I'm a new channel, so I'm open to anything really. Um, but yeah, bye, have a great day.